Good morning and good afternoon or good evening to everyone, depending on where you are. We'll start the webinar in just a couple of minutes. I'll leave one or two minutes for people that are still hopping on. Okay, so let's get started. Welcome everybody to the Giving Day for Apes Getting Started webinar. My name is Lisa Galfrin. I'm the Community Engagement Manager here at Mighty Cause. So I handle everything CS related to Mighty Cause and our platform. And as well, Jackie Bennett is here from the Global Federation of Animal Sanctuaries. So to go over today's agenda and today's webinar, um, Jackie will introduce herself in a second. And then this webinar will be short and sweet. We'll be going over giving day basics, um, some technological aspects of the platform, as well as we'll be just reviewing some key strategy points and leaving the end for any questions. Um, on your right-hand side of your screen, you should see a go to webinar control panel. There is a questions box. So you can use this area to ask any questions that you have and we'll be answering them at the end. Great, so Jackie, if you wanna take it away. Sure, thanks Lisa. Um, well, first I just wanna say that GFES is really excited to be presenting Giving Day for Apes this year, which is of course made possible by the continuing support of Arcus Foundation and our prize sponsors. Uh, so far we have more than 20 participating organizations registered, which I think is probably a record for this far in advance of the event. So I think we're gonna have a very enthusiastic group of participants from Africa, Asia, and North America. Um, as Lisa said, today's webinar is to offer a refresher on the Mighty Cause platform and let you know about some new features. And in addition to that, there's one very significant change from previous years, which some of you may have seen in an email. And that is that Mighty Cause has lowered the platform fee for online donations from 6.9% to 4.9%, which means uh, a lower cost to your donors for making a donation and hopefully more funds going directly to your organizations. So I wanted to extend a big thank you to Mighty Cause for committing to this and to the success of Giving Day for Apes this year. Just a few more things. Uh, we haven't announced our prize structure and schedule just yet, but expect it to be very similar to last year. It will include the same leaderboards, and also power hour prizes and golden tickets. And we'll send you that information when it's ready. We're also gonna be offering two more webinars before Giving Day. And in fact, we just set the dates for those this morning. So um, you'll get more information about this, but on September 5th, we're gonna have a webinar on matching grants and peer-to-peer -peer fundraising, just going over how those work for Giving Day and talking about some strategies for using them. And then on September 12th, we're going to do a final webinar before early fundraising opens. And that's going to be on storytelling tips, a review of the prize structure, and talking about overall campaign strategies. You can get more information about those now in the nonprofit toolbox link on the Giving Day page. And you'll also get information and registration links for the webinars by email. And we're also going to be adding some more resources to that online toolbox link shortly. So check back in a few days or next week, and that'll be some, some checklists and some other tools that maybe will help you as you think about your campaign for this year. And the last thing I wanted to mention is we know not all of our participating organizations have the same resources on staff to organize a Giving Day campaign. And so this year we hope to offer more support through volunteer matching. 
So if you'd like to find a volunteer to help you with, you know, some things from updating the design and content of your organization page on Mighty Cause, or helping with a communications plan to write some social media or email messages, you can email us and we'll reach out to some of our other GFAS sanctuaries and supporters and see if someone is uh, able to offer time and an extra hand for your campaign. And so with that, I'll turn things over to Lisa. Thanks so much, Jackie. So let's go over some Giving Day basics. So for those of you who have participated in Giving Day for Apes last year, you know it's a great opportunity to win prizes for your organization, to spread awareness on your sanctuary, as well as engage sponsors and community partners to participate, but most importantly, be part of a larger conversation about protecting apes. And as you know from participating last year, it's really easy to do so. Um, if you haven't already done so, please register. You'll then create and customize a profile page, plan a fundraising campaign, promote it. And as well, it's a great opportunity to review the page you had last year and think of a new story to tell about your sanctuary or your organization. How can you share your mission in a different way so that it's new and exciting for donors this year? And we'll be going over how you can do it on the platform um, in a little bit more detail. So first, as I just mentioned, please make sure that you've registered for the event on the Giving Day for Abe site. The registration is short and easy. It'll also provide you access to your profile page if you haven't already done so. You will receive two approval emails, one that you've been approved for the event as well that you've been approved as an administrator. And please note if you're already an administrator to your page, you can add additional administrators and remove them. So if you need multiple people on your staff to manage your page or to edit your page, you can simply add or remove administrators. So if you're on your organization profile page, on your left hand side, you'll notice a dashboard. That's where you're going to manage all of the tools that you'll need to edit your page. The dashboard is composed of five key sections and we'll be going them over in more detail. The first is the home section, which there will be a to-do list that will help guide you to fill out your profile page for Giving Day for Apes. And I'll also share updates and links for you in regards to the different webinars and different information on the event. The second section is profile. This is where you can edit your page, edit your metrics, etc. Underneath that is donations where you can access donor data and customize your checkout flow and donor experience. Campaigns allows you to review any fundraising efforts you've created or any peer-to-peer -peer pages. And lastly, settings allows you to add or remove administrators and easily navigate and manage all fundraising efforts for your nonprofit. So let's get into the nitty gritty of some of those key features that I just mentioned. On the home page, as I just stated, this is where your to-do list will lie. And the to-do list will guide you through completing your page so that it's ready for the event. So the to-do list is comprised of adding a background image to your profile page, uploading your logo, adding a story or will help you go bullet by bullet and will also So let's start with customizing your profile page, some of the beginning aspects of your to-do list. On the left-hand side dashboard, as I mentioned, this can be available under your page editor. 
and your profile page is going to be the main link you're going to share with your supporters. So it's the most crucial part of your event and um, what you'll be sharing with people. You can customize the look and feel of it by customizing the brand color, adding images, connecting to social media. And as I mentioned as well previously, it's a great way to share the, a powerful story about your organization and tell donors why they should donate this year to your sanctuary. Before we get into editing the profile page and customizing it to your brand, you'll want to make sure, sure that your metrics are reset for this year's giving event. To do so on your left hand side dashboard, you'll want to go to profile and then page settings as listed here. Under page settings, there will be an area called metrics. And here is where you can opt into displaying your thermometer, as well as you can pick and choose if you want donors rate, a donor count or dollars raised to be viewable there. Most importantly, you want to set a specific start date of when donations should be calculated. And you'll want to have them start calculating from September 15th, so that that's the start day of when Giving Day for Apes donations opens. If you have any questions or need any support about updating your metrics or adding it to your page, please feel, feel free to reach out to our support team. In addition to customizing or adding those metrics to your page, you'll want to make sure to head over to your settings and fill out some crucial back-end back information for your event. So one being adding and removing any essential administrators you need to your page, updating your legal address that will be viewable, viewable on donation receipts, as well as setting up direct deposit information. And all of that can be found on the left-hand side dashboard under settings. As well in this area, you can customize your social share and URL. So if you would like to update the end of your URL to match maybe an acronym you have for your organization, or you would like to change the photo that displays when people share your page on Facebook or on Twitter, you can do that through the social share setting and the URL setting within settings on your left-hand side dashboard. So if we go back to editing your page and customizing it to fit the brand of your organization, please make sure that your logo is up to date. And if you haven't filled in a logo yet, the aspect ratio is one to one, so it's a square. As well, behind the logo is a banner image. A ban the banner image has different dimensions. It's rectangular. As well, for those organizations that are participating again from last year, you'll want to rethink if you want to maintain the same banner image or if you want to update it again for this year. Lastly, you can filter the color of the background image so that your banner image, the one you choose, stands out a little bit more or blends in more for your page. As well, on your page, you'll notice that the donate and fundraise buttons, as well as the text on the page, is a specific color. And you can edit that by setting your theme color to the branded color that you would like for your organization. On your left-hand side dashboard, you can access editing your theme by going to Profile, Page Editor, and Theme, or you can simply select Theme, Edit Theme on your page. If you need any assistance on uploading photos or deciding if a photo uh, aspect ratio is correct, please feel free to reach out to our support team and we're more than happy to help guide you and help assist with uploading that image onto your page. Right underneath your donate button and your title, you'll find the description or story area of your page. The inline text editor will allow you to tell your story more efficiently and effectively by allowing you to embed photos, videos, or add bullet points. 
We have an inline text editor shortcut support article available on the Mighty Plus platform. So if you'd like to bold any words, underline, or italicize, you can simply use our keyword shortcuts, um, which is command or control B, U, and I. As well, um, your description and story area is one designated space for you to share the mission of your organization. However, if you want to add a custom tab to share additional information about your organization, perhaps you have volunteer opportunities, events, et cetera, the custom tab is available for you to share that information, but in a more organized and detailed fashion. Below the story and description area, you'll find a designated space to add images and integrate with social media. So the media gallery allows you to directly import photos from your computer or from Facebook, but we also have a Facebook and Instagram section where you can directly connect your Facebook and your Instagram account to import your feed. This is a great opportunity to keep your page fresh and new without having to update your images in two different areas. If you're updating it on your Instagram account, this will automatically update on your organization page. And as I mentioned a couple slides back, please make sure to review your social share settings under the settings area of your left-hand side dashboard to ensure that the messaging, the title, and the image you want shared on social media um, is up to your standards and has the text that you would like. As well, in the settings area of, or I'm sorry, the donations area of your left-hand side dashboard, you'll receive email notifications when a donation is made, but this area will also provide you all the information you need on your donor data in real time. If you need to export this information into an Excel sheet, import it elsewhere, you can always export it right, right on the donations report by selecting the don download tool. Additionally, in the donations area of your left-hand side dashboard, there is a space called disbursements, and that will provide you a disbursement history for your organization. For those of you that are setting up EFT, um, your funds will obviously be directly sent to your direct deposit. And for fiscally sponsored organizations, your disbursements will be sent to your sponsoring organization. If your organization is receiving offline gifts, so checks, cash, uh, matching grants, sponsors, et cetera, and you want to make sure that the total raised on your organization profile page is up to a date to include all of those donations, you can add those offline donations in this area as well. By selecting the add offline donations, you'll be prompted to enter the donor's name, their amount, their email address, if you would like to keep that information for reporting, as well as the date. And then your total raise on that thermometer will be updated. Please note though that offline gifts do not count for leaderboard totals. However, they will be counted on that thermometer at the top of your organization profile page. So donors can always see how much in total you raise for the day, but it will not count towards leaderboard totals. As well, on your left-hand side dashboard under disbursements is an area called donor experience. And this is where you can customize the checkout flow for your organization. You can choose what donor data you can collect. So if you would like to collect address information or have donors prompted to enter their phone numbers, you can opt into that. As well, you can add in your own custom donation levels and descriptions. Again, this is a great opportunity to reinforce what your organization does and your mission, as well to have donors be more motivated or incentivized to donate a higher amount based off the descriptions that you've listed in your donation descriptions. You can always preview your checkout flow by selecting view checkout 
or by going back to your organization profile page and selecting donate. On the right hand side of your donor experience section, there's an area called post checkout. And this is where you will find how to build your thank you page and how to customize your thank you receipt. The thank you page is the first page that pops up when a donor has completed their transaction. In this area, you can add photos, videos, you can add your own messaging. So for those organizations that have participated last year, I would highly recommend to review this area to make sure any content that you wrote that was related to last year's campaign can be updated to this year's campaign. In addition, once the transaction has been completed, a donation receipt will be automatically sent to the donor. And within that receipt, you can add your own custom message so that the receipt can have your own branding and include any thank you or personalization you would like. Similar to the thank you page, you can add your own photos, videos, or text. So again, I would highly recommend to review this area and make sure that it's up to date for this year's campaign. In addition to donor experience, disbursements and donations report, on the left-hand side dashboard in donations, there's also an area for matching grants. This is one of the features that has been updated since last year's Giving Day for Apes. If your organization has received a matching grant or you're looking to receive a matching grant, it's a great opportunity to um, display a dollar for dollar matching grant right on your page. If you enter a matching grant in, through Mighty Cause on your donate button, it will signify to donors that you do have a live matching grant. So again, motivating donors to make a donation and letting them know that their donation will be matched. The match does not need to be paid through the platform. If your match will be paid offline through check or however, that is perfectly fine. However, if you do want to direct uh, your the matching grantor to make the donation on the site, that will be counted towards the leaderboard. Any matching grant that you do receive, the totals on your thermometer and your metrics will be updated to include that match. But again, matching grants will not be included on your leaderboard. Some of the newest features that we've added to this area is the ability to add an email notification for the match, as well the ability to add a logo for your match so that you can recognize sponsors. So if you are planning on reaching out to businesses, companies, et cetera, this is a great opportunity to also provide them the opportunity to share that information on the page and share that with donors. What's also exciting is that we've added the opportunity to add different types of matches. So if you would like to add a total amount of donations match, total number of donors, you will have the opportunity to do so this year. So this is a great way to start thinking about your power hours and all of the prizes that will be happening on the event. We'll be getting into more detail in the next webinar, but just so you start thinking about what's new on the platform and you can start brainstorming for how you want to um, receive or input your matching grants into the system. Great, so now that we've gone through some of the technical aspects of the platform, your to-do list, all of these sections on your left-hand side dashboard, we'll be going over just some strategy tips um, so that you can be prepared as early as possible. So secure early donations. For those of you who are not aware, you can start accepting donations for Giving Day for Apes starting September 15th. Um, this can be all viewable to the nonprofit through your admin pa panel as we just went through on the donations area. Donations report, you can see all of that donors that are coming through for your donation. And donations are processed immediately. Also, as we just went through, the thank you page will immediately pop up. They'll receive a donation receipt. 
And all of those donations that you start receiving on September 5th onward will be reflected on the leaderboard on the day of the event. So um, for those of you who um, would like to know where you are in the leaderboard, you'll have to wait until the event opens to be able to review the leaderboards. And as well, just a helpful reminder that donors don't need to create a user account to donate. They will be asked to, to enter their email address, but that is just for us to send their donation receipt, but they are not prompted to create a user account nor do they need to. So as we come to a close uh, to this webinar, um, you wanna start thinking about how you wanna activate your ambassadors. Um, any peer-to-peer -peer fundraising efforts that you wanna get started or how you want to engage with the supporters in your area. Um, you want to equip your ambassadors with the tools and strategies to promote. And now that we've gone through some of the technical aspects of the platform, Hopefully that was a little bit more helpful for you to guide any supporters, board members, et cetera, that do want to start a peer-to-peer -peer fundraising campaign. And most importantly, allow them to tell your story about your organization. Allow them to tell how your organization is important to them and why they want to fundraise for you um, on Giving Day for Apes. So please make sure to spread the word about Giving Day for Apes, especially as we get closer to the event. Use all channels, email, social media, in your newsletters. We highly recommend to segment your communications by donor group um, and make sure that your email marketing is succinct um, and you are sharing the correct content and information as well as the correct links as to where people can go to donate. We also highly recommend to plan and schedule in advance all of your email marketing campaigns and who you plan to reach out to, as well as a clear call to action with a link, um, making sure that donors know exactly what to do, where to go, and how they can participate and help your organization. If you have any questions about anything that we've discussed, please feel free to reach out to our support team. We're more than happy to help. Um, we have a phone number and an email address that you can always contact. Our business hours are nine to five Eastern Standard Time. Um, and if anything pops up, um, you can also schedule a call if, if that's preferable, if you send us an email. Great, so I'll leave the last few minutes that we have to um questions does anyone have any questions about um, any of the topics that we went through great so i don't see any questions coming through um, so i will leave us at this point um, if you do, please feel free to reach out to support at mightycause.com. Um, and thank you so much. This webinar will be available on the toolkit under, um, under the section that says getting started. All right. Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye.